A WGN investigates follow-up tonight. Electric vehicles are about to get a boost as a new rebate program kicks off. Starting tomorrow, anybody who buys an EV can apply for a $4,000 rebate. But as WGN's Lourdes Duarte reports, the dollar set aside for the program may only go so far. Well, if you look at the numbers, 10% of the electric vehicles registered in Illinois were purchased just in the last three months. A new rebate program may boost those numbers even more, incentivizing potential buyers to take the leap as Illinois gets ready for a million electric vehicles on the road in the next eight years. 30 miles from Chicago in Aurora sits one of the largest operations supplying electric vehicle charging stations to the world. This is their flagship product. Peerless AV, which manufactures the Volta run stations, let us into their warehouse this week. Over and the ones that are lit up, and that's their DC fast product. They've been producing the stations for years and have been busy lately. This is almost fully baked. With gas prices sky high, demand for EVs has shot up. That means the infrastructure needed to power those vehicles becomes essential. There's been a lot of talk about the charging stations, where to put them, when to roll them out. We have over 270 charging stations in the Chicago market already, and we're continuing to invest. So I hit confirm and pay. Others are investing too. Back in April, we introduced you to Charlene Hill. The idea that I did not have to buy gas was a real kind of winner for me. Let's get a little bit of length and you kind of pull it here. More than pleased with her EV, she is one of about 45,000 registered EV owners in the state. In fact, since mid-April, 3,000 EVs were registered in Illinois alone. Now, a new rebate program may speed things up even more. EV adoption is about to go like that. Come July 1st, the rebate program will be off the ground and all $17.9 million are available. It sounds like a lot, but it may run out quicker than you think. The fund holds enough to award the rebates to about 4,500 drivers and could be gone in a matter of months. Here's some of the things to know. Low income buyers will receive priority. You have to apply within 90 days of purchase. Vehicles must be purchased after July 1st. Plug-in or hybrid vehicles are not eligible and you must retain ownership of the car for 12 months. Long-term programs like the $4,000 rebate are phenomenal, and the fact that it exists for not only new cars but used cars is extremely important, I think, differentiated. Back at Peerless AV, along with Volta, they keep working to get the charging stations needed in the ground. I think the market's marching towards the right place. It's just about building the right EV charging infrastructure to get us there. One of the things that's going to be most interesting for us to see is what the United States does to shore up their own power grid infrastructure to support all of the charging stations that are being dropped into the ground. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, the state will need 17 times the current number of EV chargers to accommodate the 1 million EV goal set by the governor. It's a lofty goal, but with another eight years to get there, anything is possible. The Illinois EPA is running that rebate program. We've posted a link to the rebate application and the process on our website, WGNTV.com. I'm Lourdes Duarte, WGN Investigates.